I mean, I know it's only been two weeks, but boy, do I miss Grandma Molly. Hey, she lived a great life, and she's going to be missed by a lot of people. I heard that uh, her bridge team is going to retire her jersey number. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was nice and all, but can we just cut the shit and then we're excited to see what she left each of us in her will? The only had to get some cool stuff. Brad, I cannot believe you could be so callous about your grandmother's death. She's not in the antique store for you to scavenge like a raccoon. Okay, I love Grandma Molly. She would always slip me a 20 when you guys weren't looking. All I'm saying is, I bet those gold-plated handbells would sell for a pretty penny. Brad? I don't appreciate you talking about my mother that way. Would you talk to your mother this way? I mean... Hello, Jacob's family. I hope everyone's doing well, despite the, um, unfortunate circumstances. Uh, thank you for all meeting with me today. We're just going to be reading over uh, Molly's will and testament and determining what's going to happen with her, uh, with her belongings. Uh, she did leave you some voice recordings, so we're going to listen to those first, and then after that I'll help sort out any details or confusions that might arise. Oh, my dear family, I've died. What a ride! My belongings I've left to you are the final prize. So don't waste time, your thumb shouldn't twiddle. To claim each item, you must solve each riddle. Wait, let me get this straight. So she wants us to solve little rhymes? Um, let, let me play the next stanza. It might make it be a bit more clear after that. Oh, what glee! I love to subject you to my games. But be warned, things unclaimed will be thrown to the flames. That was a jest. I'd never burn the belongings I adore. No, they'll be donated to the nearest Goodwill store. Um, honey, is she serious? I thought we were gonna inherit her priceless vinyl collection. You were gonna pay for Lucy's college with that. Is this even legal? Uh, you'd be surprised how many people use their will as their last chance to write prose. Uh, it's what we refer to as a Riddler reading. This is bullshit. I know she looked like a greedy old troll, but she doesn't have to act like one. <laughs> Brad, just calm down. Okay? Why don't we just hear a couple of these riddles? It could be fun, huh? Yeah, let's give the first one a shot. All right, here we go. Oh, my little ones, I will gaze down from above, watching you in your cozy homes with a heart full of love. Curled up on the couch on a cold day, without this item, you may feel gray. Oh, I bet it's that blue and orange quilt that she sewed back in the 90s. You mean the one that smelled like a cigarette she didn't smoke? Correct! <laughs> I like that one. Nice work, honey. I love that blanket. All right, well, let's move on to the second item now. Call me the Riddle Master. Oh, yes, please do. It makes me go faster and my diddle's more true. Now, tell me, young ones, how to sleep at night. How to get to bed when you're feeling the nighttime fright. Well, I'll share my secret if that will make you quit. For me, it was always a strong zap to the clit. <laughs> Did she just say zap to the clit? <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> what? No one should have to think about their grandma's clit. <laughs> Would anybody like to guess what the item is? That means we inherit it. We're good. <laughs> Going once. <laughs> Going twice. Darn. Looks like Goodwill will be receiving one Master Blaster XL Vibrator. I highly doubt any Goodwill would take that. Well, they can't deny the dying wish of an old woman. Moving on. Listen good and listen here. The one who solves this riddle better not be queer. This most sacred gift, if a sinner should find it, it wouldn't be a great fit now, would it? I mean that literally, and don't feel dismay, for Jesus would loathe to hang from the neck of a gay. <laughs> she was born in a different time. Um, I think I kind of might know what it is. Is it her ornate crucifix necklace? Correct. Gee, Grandma said it shouldn't go to a gay. I told you I'm not gay. Uh, well, that hard, hard jacket that you bought last week says otherwise. <laughs> Let's move on to the next item. Oh, now I'm giggling to myself, for this item put Grandpa on the shelf. In a mahogany urn for all to see, his ashes rest so peacefully. Now, this one may confuse, but I promise it is no ruse. 
blood-stained and beautiful, these charming little fellers beat Grandpa to death and left me feeling sweller. Their lovely little chime, so sweet and so kind, will forever remind me of my heinous crime. When the Lord should ask who killed that piece of shit, I will proudly say, it was me, I did it. You don't think that she means, I, I thought Grandpa Hare died in his sleep. Grandma Molly could have whacked him in his sleep, he'd be a sitting duck. <laughs> Brad, I cannot believe you would say that. Do you not even care that your grandmother just confessed to killing your grandfather? I mean, hey, advertising at Bell's is haunted is going to get me an extra hundo for him. <laughs> <laughs>